So is it just me or did it seem as though the What If episode order was all out of sorts? First of all, season two of What If just concluded. And overall, I thought it was a really successful season. There was a lot I really loved. There was a lot I liked. Everything was ob- obviously gorgeous. Like the, the entire Norman Rockwell approach to animation to bridge the canonical MCU of the live action with the canonical MCU of the animation, it just works really well. And it was like a great early Christmas present to be able to get these episodes out on a daily basis all the way up until and through Christmas. I know some people that kind of drives them crazy. It's like, okay, we've got content overload, but Honestly, I don't know, like the holidays tend to be to some extent a content desert of anything other than Christmas specials. So I'm here for it. I woke up every single morning watching this with my kids and it was great. We, we absolutely loved it. But as I say, while the season went on, something that became a little apparent is that the complete episode release order just seemed jumbled. Now, maybe this was by design. Maybe this was kind of there's some intentionality behind it. But the way it's structured right now, you know, we, we first get, you know, Nova Core Nebula followed by Kid Peter Quill versus the previous generation of Avengers. Then, of course, Happy Says Christmas, Iron Man on Sakaar, which was technically supposed to be last season, Captain Carter versus the Hydra Stomper, the introduction of Kahori, Hela and the Ten Rings, 1602, and then, of course, bringing it all home with Strange Supreme versus the Multiverse. And again, that's a fine release order. Like, you've got a lot of different, like, tones and themes all throughout, and it's, it's fun. There's nothing wrong with it. But if, I, if, if you'll allow me, I'd like to kind of propose a different layout to this season. Like, just a watch order, if you will. Because to me, it would structure things a lot better and give it a little bit more of a cohesive narrative through line. And before you jump in the comments and say, like, hey, no, it's like, you know, all of these different popcorn-esque stories. There's not supposed to be a coherent through line. It's the what if. No. That's not right. What if it's always had a coherent through line? It just sneaks up on you. And maybe that's what they wanted to do. They wanted it to sneak up on you like it did in season one. But no, 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 no. We're in season two now. Here's what I'd suggest. You start off with the first episode being the Iron Man on Sakaar. We know that was supposed to be in season one. It has connective tissue with the finale from season one, with the way that it's set up. You're reintroduced to the world of What If. And it's just a great episode. It's a lot of fun. It's Mad Max in space. Then after that, you jump to Nebula. After that, Happy Saves Christmas. That way you still get the whole Christmas Eve release type situation. Then you go Peter Quill. Then Hela and the Ten Rings. And from that point on, you start setting up what is the cohesive story of the season, right? You jump to Kahori for episode six, followed by Captain Carter and the Hydra Stomper. Both of these lead directly into what happens in 1602 and Strange Supreme getting involved as the finale. I don't know. To me, it seems as though this is the way the narrative was meant to be structured, but for whatever reason, it was all jumbled. And maybe it's the tension of what What If is, right? Like, it's supposed to be this anthology. And so keeping all of these stories separate and kind of individual and self-contained is a really cool thing. But at the same time, we do like the cohesiveness. We like there to be a reason, you know what I mean? Like, for What If to not matter, but to actually matter. And I think that through line is what gives it that level of importance. But that's just me. I'd be very curious. What do you think the recommended watch order for the episodes in season two is? Do you like the way they came out? Do you like what I suggested? Do you have something completely different? Put it in the comments. Let's see who can come up with the best release order.